This is Derek with the UT Gardens. Today we're going to be talking about pitcher plants or Saracenia. These are carnivorous plants uh, and they, what you see that looks like the pitcher is actually a modified leaf. So we're going to zoom in on one. Look a little closer today. As you can see what happens is uh, insects are attracted to a sweet substance that the leaf produces and they fall or slide down into the pitcher in the opening. And what they call that is a pitfall trap. As the insects, insects slide down, they get stuck in the bottom and the plant slowly digests them to provide nutrients for themselves. Other types of carnivorous plants that you might be uh, familiar with are Venus fly traps and they catch things a little differently. It has a opening of the leaf that closes and captures the fly. So what we're going to do is get a little bit closer look at these and see if we can find any insects down in the pitchers today. And these pitcher plants that we have planted in the gardens are native and also means they are hardy and they will survive the winters here. You can also purchase tropical pitcher plants in many uh, nurseries or lands, uh, garden centers if you'd like to have one grown inside your house. Now we're looking down into the pitcher a little bit. I uh, can't quite see there's a flap on the top of it, so we're going to open it up and see what else we can find down in there. Again, it's pretty deep, so you can't find anything yet. So what we're going to do is look at dissecting one of these or taking one of these leaves apart. We're going to try to take apart several of these just to see if we can find any insects. So I've taken a little knife, cut it, and open up, and you can see. Some things have fallen down into here. Looks like some leaves. Go down a little further. Not sure. If there's anything in here to look for, but we will see. All right, we do have some insects in here. And it looks like we've got some ladybugs that have fallen in. Someone has thrown a leaf in there. Then I'm going to cut the second one open also to see what else we can find. Okay, we got a little moth here. Oh, there's some interesting things. There is a whole bunch of insects at the bottom of these. So this one has been very efficient. So we will take a look at what we have here. Looks like a bunch of wasps have split, slid down in there. There's one. There's a moth. Two ladybugs. Some other insect I hard to identify. Another wasp. Another wasp. Another wasp, some more ladybugs, another ladybug and a wasp. So it looks like we found one, two, three, four, five, six wasps in this one. Uh, one, two, three, four ladybugs, a moth, and a couple other insects that are kind of hard to identify because they're kind of all smushed up. So we'll get a little closer look for you, everybody, to see what we found. So yeah, all that, all those insects were in that little bitty leaf 
or picture of the Saracenia pitcher plant. There's the moth. Some ladybugs. You can see the wasps. They were in there. So again, pitcher plants or Saracenia are carnivorous plants and they eat insects. Another type of carnivorous plant that we have here at the UT Gardens is in our greenhouse is called a Cape Sundew. And right now it is blooming, so I'm going to zoom in on that so you can take a look at that. It has little white flowers. Uh, and this plant is a carnivorous plant and it's a little different than the Saracenia. As you can see, it has, instead of having a pitfall trap for the insects, it produces this little droplets on the leaves. I'm going to zoom in on those a little bit so you can see. And those little droplets are sticky. And what happens is it attracts, the sweet smelling attracts particularly small flies and other insects. And they land on it and they get stuck on it and then it will dissolve the insect that way. Here's a close up of the leaves with the little dew drops on them. Hence the name Cape Sundew.